What's up guys? Today we're learning Good News by Mac Miller. It's kind of cool song. It's the same chords the whole time. There's one little weird chord in there, but I'll kind of break it down. Um, they are mostly bar chords. That's how I'm going to break it down today. Um, but I'll make it as easy as possible with kind of a simpler strumming pattern that you ought to be able to get through with no problem. My name is Brett Blakemore from SummitGuitarSchool.com. Uh, do me a favor, follow the links in the description and go subscribe to our newsletter. No spam, only free, awesome content. Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I really appreciate the support. Let's get started. Okay, so let's first break down these chords. Um, I'm going to show it to you guys with all bar chords. I know, you're like, uh, next video. But um, for those of you that are wanting to learn it, kind of how the song actually goes, it's not really open chords, all right? These are like advanced guitar players playing on this recording. Um, and most recordings really, but um, so let's check it out. First chord is an E major, that's seven, nine, nine, nine. So seventh on the fifth string, nine on the fourth, nine on the third, and nine on the second string, all right? Now you can either do it like I do, which is you put your index there and then you bar your third finger over those, like this, or you go like this and you go seven, nine, 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 and you put your middle, third, and pinky there. All right, that's kind of like the textbook fifth string major bar chord. So I'm gonna do it this way. So it's gonna go down, that's an E, and then we're gonna go to a G sharp dominant seventh. This is another bar chord. You're gonna bar over the fourth fret. Your third finger plays the sixth fret, fifth string, and your middle finger plays the fifth fret, third string. Woo! All right? So, and you strum all six. You gotta really have this fourth string ring out. That's your dominant seventh note. So it makes it a seventh chord. And then you go to to the C sharp minor seventh, all right? So it's the exact same shape, all right? You just shift everything down. Your third and middle finger come down towards the floor, one string each. So that's fifth, sixth, fifth, I'm sorry, si uh, fourth, sixth, fourth, fifth, fourth. Just like that. All right, and then you go to a B major bar chord, which is uh, seven, nine, nine, eight, seven, seven. You gotta bar all six strings. I know it's kind of hard. Um, so that's index, third, fourth, middle, and then bar. And then you shift that just to your left, two frets or a whole step down to the A, which is the exact same shape. And you hold that chord. And then you come up and you do um, another C sharp minor seventh here. And that's nine, 11, nine, 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 just like that. All right, I don't even strum the first string on that one, so that's index, third finger on the, so index on the ninth, third finger on the 11th, and then nine, 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 just like that. And then you jump to this diminished chord, or it's a piece of a diminished chord. All right, and that's the eighth fret, ninth fret, eighth fret, all right? It's like this C sharp diminished chord, but we're kind of, they're not playing that, the bass is playing a different root there, so we're gonna play it just like this. The bass is playing like an E root. But we're gonna play this uh, d diminished little thing here. Diminished chord, I should say. So that's eight on the fourth string, nine on the third, and eight on the second string. All right, that's a diminished triad there. And then back to E. So I'll play it, E, C sharp minor, B, A, two, three, four, C sharp minor, diminished, the entire song. So let's talk about that strumming pattern. So you're gonna go down, it's a lot of it, a lot of it is on like offbeat, so some of this stuff will be on up strum, all right? So you're gonna go down, down, up, miss, up, miss, up, down, down, up, miss, up, miss, up. Alright, so it's down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, miss, up, that's the pattern, all right? I'm gonna do it one more time. Down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. That 
is the pattern. I'll put it in the description. That's the whole song. But dang, man, those bar chords on an acoustic guitar will uh, kind of wear you out right there. If they do, give it a quick stretch. No one said you couldn't stretch out. It's just like uh, working out or exercising. And that is the entire song. All right, guys, that is everything you need to learn good news by Mac Miller. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. We really appreciate the support. Have a good day.